Hello, it's system review time, if you could call it a system, really. Uh, I've got one of these. It is the Mega Drive Portable Video Game Player from At Games, purveyors of quality gaming equipment or something. Um, I got this kind of by, well, not by accident, more by mistake. I thought it was the latest. Um, at games Mega Drive handheld thing um, because it's white. I'm, I've, I've seen like several different models of theirs, one with 30 games on it, one with 20 games and an SD card slot. I thought this was that one. I thought this had the SD card slot. Um, I thought the new white one might be better than all the crappy black ones that we're kind of familiar with. So uh, this I picked up for £7 on eBay. And then when it arrived, in fact before it even arrived, I realised, hold on, no, I've made a mistake here. This is an old one. This is probably the first one. Um, but for £7, you know, I really can't complain. So let's have a look at it. Let's get it out of the box if I can... You know, getting things out of boxes is complicated and stuff. So, yeah. I don't do unboxings, but here I am taking it out of the box. You get a um, AV cable, so you can plug it in via, this is cool, an included SCART plug thing, adapter, and uh, the do for itself. This is second hand, it's a little bit scuffed, the screen is a little bit scratched on the lower edge, but for seven pound, ain't gonna complain. Um, sticker has been on the back and peeled off at some point. It's getting on a bit, what do you expect? Um, what can I tell you about it that you can't see for yourself? You've got a D-pad, you've got a, what button's that? Menu button. Start and pause, your A, B and C buttons, screen, speakers, uh, probably actually only that there is a speaker, that's kind of a dummy as far as I can tell. Uh, on the top, headphone socket, power on and off, volume, that's not a headphone socket, that's the AV out, headphone socket's on the bottom there. Duh, didn't check before I spoke. Batteries, uh, three AAA screw-in thing, very annoying. Uh, but the batteries came with it, which was really nice of the seller to include them. And uh, in terms of feel, the D-pad is lovely. Now, I mean, I, I've got a few cheap and nasty handhelds that are aimed at the same kind of market as this. And they're from China, they're not very good. The D-pads on them are fairly horrible. The, the three action buttons are not as nice. The D-pad, lovely. These, they're, they're quite nice. They're, they've got a, a nice satisfying click to them. Um, yeah, these they, they don't offer quite as much resistance as I would like. But, yeah, not a tragedy. Uh, there's a little thing there if you want to uh, put a lanyard thingamajig on it. Does anyone ever use them? I don't. So, uh, what's it actually like to use? I'm going to move us into the other room now because uh, it's darker in there and I can set the camera up. I've got a little table and everything. And I will show you visually and audio-wise what it's like. This will be a treat. And I'll actually, I think I'll plug it into the telly as well with this here doofer just so we can see what it's like okay bear with me okay then here we go let's turn this thing on if I can find the power because it's in an awkward position and uh, can't find, there it is And I can't actually see. <laughs> the screen, it's got to be said, while it's nice and clear and bright, is very small. And that, on certain games, may become an issue. Let's move in a bit and try and get it so it's not all 
nasty and mm, you're getting that fairly nasty sort of pixely effect that's probably as good as it's going to get okay so games Alex Kidd Alien Storm Altered Beast Arrow Flash Columns 3 Echo Junior Echo Mean Bean Machine Decap Attack Crackdown Eswat Flicky Gain Ground Golden Axe Jewel Master Sonic Spinball Sonic and Knuckles Shinobi 3 Shadow Dancer and Kid Chameleon so it's a, a fairly decent selection of games none are what I would call my absolute favorites but there is a variety of game styles there to a degree you got your platformy games, your fighting kind of games, your puzzle games it's lacking any racing type games which is a shame and shoot em ups? I don't know, um, arrow flash that looks let's have a go anyway um, volume, where's the volume? that would appear to be the volume this is where it uh, gets interesting excuse me while I just kick the uh, Do we have audio? Maybe not yet. Yeah. It is variable, shall we say. It would be nice to start, please. This obviously isn't going to be the ideal way to play the game. Oh, that sounds harsh. Ah! That's not at all what I wanted to do. Where's the bloody fire button? There it is. Oops. Yeah. The sound is... rough. That's how I would describe it. Let's turn it down a bit. Oops, didn't really want to do that. Yeah, I, I would be inclined to play it... Oh, bollocks. To play with it quite quiet, I think. Just because it's distorted to hell. Now, I've got a, a PVP... What is it? P, PXP. It's a, a PSP-styled knockoff of um, these at games kind of things. And on that, the audio was wrong in terms of a lot of the notes that were playing were uh, the, the wrong note. This doesn't seem to do that. Though it could be wrong. Because it could be that uh, I'm just not familiar with the music on the, the couple of games that I've played. Let's have a look at... Um, I'm going to have a look at Flicky. Because this is there's, a, there's an issue with this game as well that I sort of noticed while having a go at it. Now, I don't know if you're going to get the gist of what's wrong here from this view. This uh, this screen is tiny. It's, it's a couple of inches at best. Oh crap, at best. And on a game like this, where your characters are really small, it's actually really hard to tell what's going on. Um, it's probably where... Oh god. Oh God! Yeah. Okay. I can't. <laughs> I can't really play it like this. Um, yeah. It, it, I, it's a great game, and there's nothing intrinsically wrong with the display on this thing. It's just a bit small, and not really suited to this game, I think. Which is a pity. Uh, okay. I'm gonna plug it into the telly. So we can see what it's like with the AV cable plugged in. Okay, here we are with it plugged into the telly. And I have to say, the quality of that picture is great. 
I'm really quite impressed with that. There is a little bit of a buzz coming through with the audio, but it's very quiet. Um, definitely not a big deal. Yeah, it's nice and it, it's about as good as you would expect from a, an AV cable of this type. I mean, it's obviously not HDMI crisp and really you wouldn't want it to be. Um, let's have a go at something. Let's have a go at Alien Storm. See what the audio is like through the telly. Because I, I don't know if the uh, god-awful sound is just the, the piss-poor speaker or is it the... Uh, I think this is ARM-based emulation, so is it... Is it bad emulation of the sound or is it a... Uh, is it just the speaker? We'll, f we'll see. We'll see how this sounds. Mm. No, it's, it's the sound itself is pretty horrible, I think. What the hell just happened? Yeah. I can't remember who I normally play as. I can't remember what... I can't remember much of anything, really. That... That wasn't clever. What on earth did I do? All right, the the D-pad. While I said it feels lovely to touch, it does. In terms of uh, actual precise movement, it's not actually so great. Um, I'm finding myself occasionally moving in directions that I don't necessarily want to. I do like this game, just because it's so bloody weird. Right, let's have a look at some uh, other games and see how they uh, play, look, sound, that kind of thing. Alter, now nah, yes, I, I'm so familiar with Alter Beast. Uh, I, I, this should be quite telling. That actually sounds pretty good. Like, awful, but awful as it should. Yeah. Oh, you bugger. Up the arse. Power up. Oh, this... this uh, it's a weird game, this one, because I think it's rubbish. I, th it, I, I do, I think it's a rubbish game, but I like it. I think just because I had it back in the day, it was like I had this and... Oh, what was the other game I had? Super Hang On. And uh, they were all I had for a while, so they got played to death. So I'm really familiar with the, the utter cheesiness of it. Come here, you little bauble. Oh, well. Lost me bauble. Ah, oh, get off. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, that's what I was just playing a minute ago, isn't it? Uh, uh, crackdown. Don't know anything about that. Mean Bean Machine. I don't like. East what? Uh, whatever. We'll have a look at uh, we'll have a look at Sonic and Knuckles. It's a game I didn't I. I have it, but I didn't play it back in the day. Um, I got Sonic 1 and 2 back in the day, and I didn't progress from there with Sonic until, um, well, at all, really. Everything else I bought after that was like when I was collecting retro. All the buttons seem to do the same thing, which I guess is correct. It's got a certain wooliness to the sound and the visuals, which I think seems okay, actually. It's not horrible. Um, I'm, I'm liking the slight fuzziness to the visuals. It's not too sharp. And that on an LCD screen, I think, matters. When it's too sharp on an LCD screen, it, it spoils it a bit. So I am I am liking the uh, the video output of this sound. The, uh, 
I would need to put this up against an original Mega Drive cartridge and I do have one so I could feasibly do that but I'm not going to because I'm lazy but uh, it just it it sounds a little bit muddy but not horrendously so but because I'm not really familiar with this game I can't say if it's wrong or not I can't say is it is it playing the wrong notes is it making the wrong sounds I don't know judge for yourself Okay, that will do. I think you can see it is a. Uh, it's not doing a terrible job. It is limited in what it is. You've got 20 games. If you don't like the games that are on it, well, too bad. What I find interesting is what it says on the um, on the box. Ages five plus, and I think that is about right. This is something you would give to your kids. Uh, to keep them quiet while you're driving somewhere, you know, on your holidays or something. And they're sitting there in the back going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Give them one of these, say, play this and shut up. And it would keep them quiet. It's not... This is not something for your die-hard Mega Drive fan. But, um... Like I said, I paid seven quid for it and I'm actually quite happy with it. I was expecting it to be a piece of junk. And I don't think it is. Plugging it into the telly is quite good. The results are quite nice. The screen is a little bit too small on the handheld itself. You, you could, if you're an old git like me, I really do struggle with handhelds. I'm, I'm short-sighted, but I struggled seeing things up close. So bifocal lenses and all of that, it, it, it hurts me eyes. But um, yeah, D-pad, not feels nice but it's not necessarily as accurate as you would want the three buttons nah. seven pound bargain probably wouldn't recommend spending more than that maybe a tenner something like that uh, I don't think it's a current thing anymore they've moved on there are newer models with SD cards but they cost a good bit more so mm. yeah it is what it is okay that'll do thank you for watching not without a knighthood. Not a chance. Anyway, Benway who? Oh. You lot. Uh. Hello. Uh. What? Oh. Please subscribe. Thank you. Can I go now?